So let's get started by going over to Visual Studio. And you'll see that I have this application already set up. I'm binding to some data. Let me actually go to the XAML view so you can get a better view of what's going on. So in the XAML view, you'll see that I have this uh, Silverlight grid. Inside of the grid, I have my column definitions. And the tooltip property is actually off of each column. So you'll see there's a couple of different settings. You'll see it set on the category uh, ID as never. So it's never going to show tooltips. Uh, you can also have it to say overflow. What that means is if there are certain fields that do not fit in that area, so in a certain width, uh, then show the tooltips. And there's always, so regardless of if the entire text displays or not, always show the tooltip. There's also a couple of other things that you'll see. Uh, I set the tooltip style on this particular tooltip so that I can change maybe some appearance settings. Here I'm just changing the foreground to red, just give you a quick sample of different things you can do. Another thing that you see here is I actually uh, overrode the content template and then provided a template of a grid and two text blocks so I can put additional information. Instead of just a description field, I'm putting a couple more things in the context. So um, I have two rows. In the first row, I have uh, the category name and I bolded it. And the second row, I just put a description. So in addition to the description, I'm adding the category name. So let me run this so you can see it working. Okay, so once it loads up, uh, you'll see when I'm over to category ID, uh, there is no tooltip. When I go over to category name, there is no tooltip because the text isn't cut off. If I were to resize this column and let's say uh, cut off condiments, you'll see the tooltip does appear and with that uh, style that I provided with the foreground of red, uh, but you'll see beverage doesn't because again, all the text is visible. For the description, remember we set this to always display and when I hover over that, you'll see I get my very custom tooltip, not just the description field, but that entire template that I specified, which had the grid with the two rows. So that's a quick intro to the tooltip. Uh, play around with it, and I'm sure you'll discover a lot more things you can do. Thanks for joining me today. Infragistics. On the web at infragistics.com.